Oh yeah, Sean Lee Bishop here. Got, got a little scene of a bouncing ball. Uh, we're going to surface that up with some sort of wool texture with uh, sort of fibres all over it. First off, I don't know if you've noticed that that surface is rendering rather strange in OpenGL. That is uh, due to Surface Editor just having the Octane node plugged in. So quick fix is just plug in something into OpenGL and that cures it. Right, what we're interested in, first off I'm going to show you a new tool and oh, there it is, let's move it over here. And it's a kit surfacing tool and what I want to do is I want to surface this sphere with um, a wall surface. So if I load up the tool, I've already downloaded the files from uh, textures.com in their own folder called wall and I'm not going to go through the settings just click OK on that and all it'll do is it'll fetch the images this ball has already been UV mapped so you know those textures quite neatly get applied to that UV right the next next stage is our fibers and I can show you those in Modeler basically I've created a few random sort of hairs in fact I don't like that one so I'm gonna uh, let's it's a grab tool it's a bit straight so let's just warp it out of shape a bit maybe drag that over there i mean these are create were created with fiber effects so yeah back in lightwave scene what i'm going to do is going to instance those fibers on to the ball if i open the properties i've already got them set up anyway so it save time so if i open that i've got them at displayed as points because it's quicker so all i've done is i've added the objects to the surface uh, put some random scale on and random rotations so actually let's, let's view those so what we're doing with shaded as you can see we got a fuzzy ball all right the other thing as well is because we're using octane what we need to do is in um the hair we need to set yeah you know, set, set it to use poly hair and I've guessed those, so that's basically the thickness of these fibers. So if I open IPR now, yep, we now have a fuzzy ball. And I'll quickly show, actually show you the surfaces for what that tool sets up. As you can see, delete that, that's from the previous. Um, it's set up for Octane, it's set up for native render and also we got unreal engine set up there but yeah that's a very quick setup with hair fibers and we got a nice little fuzzy ball and as you can let's reset that as you can see the uh fibers stick to the ball quite neatly it's going slow because i've got it full display there at the moment but yeah i'll uh talk to you guys soon bye